Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Duralast QS. Build your mech to last with Duralast. All right, well, today's the day we bring out our new Lance. So let's go to um, the command center. We're just going to straight come jump straight in the fight. We know what we're doing. We're going to take this guy here. And this is against... Um, who are we looking at? Find out in a second. We're in the jungle. So, 523, jungle-based defense against uh, planetary government. So, it should be interesting. Hopefully, we get some quick sell guys here. We are going to flush out the lance here. Load clear. Apply. And I think we can probably save this as sea lance. I'm hoping we can anyway. So, we're bringing you down. Bringing you down. Going all the way down here. I made it, like I said, I've made it easy on myself, so I know who's going where. C1, C2, um, C5, and C6, and C7. So these are the vehicle pilots. So I'm going to go this route, because Megaflop might actually end up in a mech. Maybe, I don't know yet. But right now, there's still a vehicle pilot. And I might do this Lance as maybe four vehicles and two mechs. Depending on the vehicles we pick up, um, that's a possibility. So the Pegasus is going there. Chariot's going here, and um, Cloudbuster. We're going to go this route. Let's see how we do. Oh, uh, let's save this first before I forget. Save. Sea Lance, confirm. And let's go. Yeah, I know you say that. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, it's this base. I, I, the, for as challenges challenges go, this base is a little bit more difficult to defend than the other one on the hill, which is kind of why I like this fight more so the enemy because you can get like enemies coming from here, from up here, from over here, from over here, and they've all got a shot at the base. Whereas the one on the mountain, they you're kind of in a corner and they can only really come from a couple spots. So this one is always trickier to play. So we're gonna drop right here. And we'll find out where the enemy shows up. Okay, we got a wasp. And he's not firing. Now, what do we got? Where are you? Oh, so you're dropped. Oh, I see. You're over here. Flea, spider. These are our guys. There's only one lance to start. There should be two more after that. So let's... Well, Strider's back there, too. Where's that wasp? Right there. Pushing the base early, eh? Alright, Moxie, let's you. see what you can do with this mech. So you've got... I don't remember what you have as skills. Let's pull to here. Stay at as far range. I mean, we're ranged, so there's no point in closing a little closer unless we absolutely have to. This guy's moved already, so let's hammer him. I'm going to keep the Thunderbolts for the second wave, and we'll fire it all. Roger. Critical hit, Commander. Excellent. I'm interested to see what this... Uh... Wait, why do we have an extra space? Did you guys see that? Like, why do we have... an extra... Sp Am I just... I'm Never mind. Skipper. Am I just going crazy? I don't know. Whatever. Where was that blue line? Did we get one right there? There it is. That's what I want. Uh, no, I don't. I want to see if I can get... There we go. Come around from the front, because I want to get some CT hits if I can. Ten, four. See what our chance to hit is when we get over this hill. 32, not bad. Taking it. Critical hit. Should be able to kill this guy this turn, I think. Be nice if we could have two of them down before the, the uh, reinforcements arrive. 
So what do we have here? We got two prowlers. Goblin. Goblin. LRM. SRM. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Spider. Well, shooting one guy and hitting the other. Doesn't really matter as long as it hits. If you're going to miss, make sure you hit the guy standing beside him. Unless he's on your team. Oof, nice shot. Alright. Yes, Commander. Lifeboat. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good right there. I think maybe we... I don't know. I was thinking we should put the light rotary... Oh my god. The light rotary back on this guy. I can't... I, I can't be that evil. I'm just gonna shoot once. <laughs> oh god. Good to go. I... I... yeah. It, I'm sorry. So sorry. No wasp pilot desert. Well, they all deserve that. If you're gonna pilot a wasp... I guess, though, if you think about it, Going full speed. some people have to because that's their family mech. It's like, oh, I'm piloting a wasp. Really? I think we'd prefer driving a striker. Copy that. Nothing. Reporting negative damage. Nothing. Prime time. Okay, mortar eight. I'm interested to see what this thing's got, so let's not give you a chance to shoot anybody with anything other than the mortar. Um, 12%, 24, 10. You it is. So we've only got normal ammo. <laughs> well, sure. That's all we got, that's all we'll use. Ah, a couple hits. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, like I said, maybe we keep this as a, uh, more of a vehicle lance. Yes, Just go with two mechs and, like, you know, two mechs, four vehicles, and then when we get the additional complete. leopard, which I'm planning on doing it shortly. All right, well, let's see if we can just hammer... Hmm. Well, that's... That, <laughs> that guy's in trouble. Paratelios and large laser exostar, huh? Uh, he's got good armor, although it was a head hit, so it's not doing so well. Severe burns. Nice. Didn't get past the armor. Uh, yep. All right, nasty. Let's get nasty on these some bitch. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Sure. All right, let's move. The two SRMs on this thing alone are uh, are worth this vehicle. Locking off all weapons. As long as we get a pilot that can hit. SRM 12 is like 120 damage, so if you got a good chance to hit at somebody's back, especially at this level, it's really it's a really bad time for the enemy. Medium lasers, strip the armor off, hit them with SRMs, finish them off. In theory. I mean, not as good as the ferret, because the ferret's like immune to getting hit almost, but uh... What are you doing? Ready to get it on. No, you're running from the AC-20, that's what you're doing. I don't blame you. Got something you want done? I do. I have somebody I want done, although standing there is probably a bad idea. Let's go here. Acknowledged. 70%. Oh, it's more funny. It's more fun destroying a flea, though. Oof, really? Well, let's go this route. I'm gonna throw the X-Pulse up. Well... Let's just do this. <laughs> so much fun. That hit something good. Ah. Uh, you know, I shied away from AC-20s for the longest time, simply because the amount of weight and the ammo that you've got to carry. It's like, you know, you're still looking at around 18 tons, you know, 
with case and all that stuff and ammo and it's a lot of weight but it's so satisfying when you do land a good shot receiving you uh yeah let's not uh let's not get too crazy attacking from position try and get a kill on this guy ah, a little bit of damage waiting for orders you can probably finish him off though right you get a kill, and you get a kill! I'm all happy now, but we'll wait to see what their reinforcements are. Could be a bad time. Acknowledged. Wow, we can't even kill this fleet! Inflicted. There we go. Why do I open my mouth? Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Of course I do. From behind me. Come on, people. Over here. Let's make it happen. That landed pretty close, though, didn't it? Yeah, see. Well, no. Commando. Lamb. Defender. And something. Wait, is that a quick sell? Damage minimal. It might be. Systems holding. That seemed like it was a, uh... I wonder where the other guys are. There's another lance here somewhere. That seemed like it was a quick sell LRM. Oh, there they are. Grim Reaper. Reaper. Oh, that's... You just picked the wrong foe. Reporting. Minimal damage. Yeah, but you got an arc on you, buddy. What is this guy? Yellow jacket? Something or other. Either Ultra 2 or Double 2. I'm here. Alright, who are we gonna do? One mech on this side, one on the other side. So you're taking this side. What side is the biggest threat? You know what, we gotta make sure our vehicles get out. So this side is the biggest threat, I think. Let's get over here. Roger. That's the spider. I don't think we're going to get good shots on these guys. Yeah, not really. We'll just take a shot at the spider, see if we can get some good damage on this guy. Alright. Laser's hit, at least. Tag's on. That might help our vehicles a bit. That Grim Reaper looks like a Shadow Hawk, almost. Maybe it is. It's a, it's a Grim, Grim Reaper Hawk. That, oh, that's pretty good armor. Pretty good armor. Thousand armor. It's got to be at least 55 tons or more. Yeah, you back up. Okay, who's going where now? Ready to rock. Nasty. You've got AA defense, so we need a minimum distance here. Unfortunately, let's not go in the water if we can avoid it. Gonna back up to here for now. Oh, this is the Pegasus. Sorry, I thought it, I was looking at the uh, Cloudbuster. And I wasn't. What do you know? Ha ha! Okay, a little bit of damage. Open that arm up, I think. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't matter, it's uh, Media Blazers or CT, I believe. Uh, I'm so glad they lowered the. Uh, the copter rotary rotor sounds. Such a much in, it's much more enjoyable game now that that's happened. Okay, I think I'm gonna use. You on this side. Let's move. The lamb is not in the air. So we should be able to oof, that's terrible. That's not bad. We'll take that shot. Well, uh, maybe I should drop recoil. Oh well. That didn't hit. I think we're good with recoil, though. I think this pilot and the uh, the mech, because I think I have the upper arm recoil reduction. The pilot's got at least two recoil reduction. Well, it might only have one. I think the uh, light AC20 has only got a recoil of like two or three or something, so it's pretty low. Crap. 
At least he's not shooting at me. Wonder if I should weaken him with the uh, mortar. He's got a PPC. Armor's nice and chonky. He might be a 60 ton, but I don't think so. Wish I had airburst ammo. But we got the Cloud Buster, right? That ought to work. I think the Centurion should be able to handle this whole side. If we can land a couple of AC-20 hits, that should clean this side up pretty quickly, I think. Regardless, even if we don't land a lot of shots, I don't think these guys really have the juice to pull the buildings. I mean, that Grim Reaper is pretty, pretty nasty. But I don't think they have the juice to pull the buildings down in time. You know what might make these base defense missions a little better? I know they crank the buildings up because of the amount of enemies that could show up. What they should do is, like, well, I guess you can't, I mean, I guess every person installs the game differently. So it's a little bit more difficult. I was going to say they should have it so that, um, let's go right here. The, the enemies start back further, but the buildings have less hit points. But that doesn't really work because... And I'm in here. Let me figure this out. Strider. You're hidden. You're hidden. Can I get a kill on you? Not really. 42. I can do good damage. Oh, I can get a side shot and maybe get a kill. I won't get one on that guy. Let's take a shot at this guy. So yeah, if they started back further... I don't know. I don't know what would make it Standing by. tougher. Because sometimes, you you know, you can win no problem and sometimes you can't. Light AC5, let's get that in it. Let's get that into play here. We'll move up here. On it. I can't use the mortar against the helicopters, so let's just go against the strider down here. It's a good position to drop the mortar into. Lots of guys over there. Ooh, the copter still took splash damage. Uh, I guess maybe it wasn't the copters. It might have been our guys that took the splash damage. Whatever. I mean, I guess the other thing you could do is with every lance that drops, there's like a couple of suicide vehicles. And when I say suicide vehicles, I don't mean guys driving them. Like, they're, they're, they're remote-controlled suicide vehicles that sprint towards the base to try to explode. You gotta try and kill them before they get to the base. But, I mean, that's not, I know that's not really a kind of a battle tech kind of thing. But it might make some of these base defense missions a little bit more challenging. Commander, Because for the most part, I mean, as long as you're not targeting the enemy... Like, this guy, he's going after the base now, so he's ignoring me completely. Which is like, you know, that's it, like, you know, right there, there's there's his end if I land a shot, right? So, out. we'll use the precision. Yeah, see, I don't think, we're not having an issue with the recoil on this thing. Gonna go standard ammo. I want to do as much damage as this guy as possible. So we did hit with the AC-20. At least it felt like we did. The leg hit though. Oh well. Oh well. Stand and buy. Can't have all the hits we want. But we'll have the ones that we can take. Alright, let's move into the trees. Moving out. Keep some fire suppression going here. I don't even know if we're, the turrets are going to be up and running by the time this battle's over. We want to go anti-air and kill this guy? Or kill the strider? Yeah, because if I miss the Strider, I might hit the uh, Grim Reaper. Sure. Copy that, Commander. I think one of them carried over. Yeah, torso hit. Confirmed. At least it felt that way.
Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Let's get in here and get some evasion going. And go after that uh, whirly that we've already hit right here. Wow, still terrible chances to hit. Now let's see how you handle it. Oh yeah, it'll look pretty well, but if we can freak him out, maybe he'll stop uh, Ready for orders. going after us. Shoot the same guy, we're just not gonna... well... No, Strider. Shoot the Strider. Better chance to hit. Splash damage. Nice. I mean, we hit our own guys, but whatever. Kind of maxing, maxing, maxing the damage from those mortars. Be nice if we could drop acid ammo in that thing, but whatever. We'll take it. Be nice if there was two mortars. Get rid of the AC. Put a second eight mortar eight in there. We're still kind of up in the air about mortars. I know we ran the the, uh, the mortar units in the uh, urban mech playthrough that we had. The Irbys were... Uh, I don't know. I, I want to say they were surprisingly good, but I'm enjoying the quick cells more than I was the Irbys. Yeah, you back up. Got two LRM5s. What are you doing with them? Nothing, huh? Nothing at all. Yeah, you better back up. At least these goblins got a little bit of armor. Yeah, they might, I mean, I don't know if we're ever going to have turrets. I don't know if we need them, though. You know, it might, might be another interesting... I keep thinking of all these different, like, not necessarily play modes, but it might be interesting if you had the choice on the way down, if you accept the turrets or you reject the turrets. And if you reject the turrets, you get better payment. Still keep the enemy con uh, contacts the same and, and give yourself, like, the uh, like you'd still have two vehicles on your side, but they would start in the base. Orders. So that you'd have no turret defense. Since these guys are not engaging, this was the guy that we hit before, was it? No. Not that guy. Yeah, we're not shooting that guy. Or that guy. Well, we could hit this guy, though. Yeah, we're going to target this guy because I want parts from him. Roger. Oh, we got one on. That's fine. If we can get a kill on him. That'd be nice. It's all going to depend if he moves in or not because I'm not really going to push those guys, I don't think. Until I know that the uh, Centurion's got the other side locked down. Ooh, that was bad. He doesn't like me shooting his guys in the back, so he's going to shoot me in the back. Fair play to you. But I play the back game better than most. Ooh, that was mostly in one spot, too. He probably has followed leader missiles. Ah, well, there goes one. This guy's got, like, centurion arms, almost. What is this guy based on? Or is he? Don't know. If anybody knows, drop it in the comment down below. Oh, he's just got straight up AC2s. Yeah, that's the Quick Cell 4 Commando. Now, this guy. The Bulldog AC2 has got four and good armor. Okay, Munin Lamb's going before me. And then I gotta get my back not turned towards these guys. So we'll see where he goes. If it was me, I would go into flight mode back up over here, face the base and the uh, Centurion, but he's not doing that. He's giving himself to me. Ooh, back strike. Nice job. At least it looked like it was a back strike. Armor breach, internal damage. Commander. Currently we're outnumbered, but we can fix that, I think. Okay, more like that, I think. 
aircraft going full throttle. So these guys can't get behind me. 97% chance to hit with the AC-20. Enjoy! Target lock on enemy six. Arm hit. Oh well. Scored a critical hit. Was it an arm hit or was it a torso hit? Arm hit. Hitting all the spots I, what are your orders, I don't want to hit. Okay, you're not fast enough to get behind that guy. That's the spider. Let's get into there. I got you. Let's harass these guys. I want to keep them at arm's distance at least. 38 on this guy. 44 on the strider. We'll go after him. Fun time. Okay, fun to get into his armor. That hit something good. We don't really care about the strider, but Waiting for they've all got to go. Now, how stable are you? You're pretty good. Yeah, it was a back strike. The jerk? Affirmative. Shoot me in the back, the jerk. 31. 40. Can't see him. Grim Reaper. Ooh, that's a really nice chance to hit. We'll take that. I'm going to throw the rockets on too. Thunderbolt, not quite good enough yet, I don't think. We'll fire the rest though. Nice shots. Excellent damage. Ooh, head hit too. I thought it might have been. I thought it might have been a head hit. Looked like one of the PPCs hit his head. Like a good pilot, he's going to push. Yep. I'm losing armor bad. You are. You alright though. You alright. This guy's going to take the uh, shot from the chariot and from the be behind, and then Grim Reaper, I'm going to push the side of this guy if I can. We'll continue up with the shots on his arm. Although, if we can get this warrior, we'll take the warrior. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can kill this guy. If we get lucky. Because I think it's I think the uh, lamb uh, engines are XL engines, technically, so I think if you kill one side, the lamb's gone. In theory, it could be wrong. It's highly likely that I am. Yeah, Parabellar M5s. Magpulse, say. Eh? Oh. Damage minimal. Doesn't really Damage affect me, one. but uh, feel free to shoot away. Oh wait, this is the. Uh... There we go. There we go. There we go. Obvious target. So is this guy. Roger that. Nice. Got past the armor. I think we can pull that Grim Reaper down. We got what? Four more? Yeah, we got four more rounds after this one. I got to back up with that Stormcrow though. I think we're going to switch sides. The Stormcrow is going to pull to the right. And the uh, Centurion's going to go after that uh, Grim Reaper. Do a little bit of armor sharing, so to speak. Okay. Pair of 14s, which are probably over here. No? Copters? Oh, it's Strider. You're going to step? What are you doing? Oh, you backed up. Oh, interesting. How are we doing here? Okay, we're still alright. It's the back that's the worst. The back is the worst. So those guys have all gone. Yeah, we're not getting turrets.
Reminds me of that match I played a long time ago. It was on this this very map, and I had uh, two vehicles, and on turn one, the mechs that were here blew them up completely, like, <laughs> just wrecked them. So what do we got? Turn 12? Where is that? Okay, the AC2s. My kid yelling. Downstairs. Standing by. Alright, let's see if we can get... Alright. Theoretically, that's... I'm gonna... Uh, it's giving me the green light, but... Why do I have a feeling that this is not going to be, uh... Okay. Heading out. There's been a couple of times when I when I was screwed, where I said I could fire and then I couldn't. All right, well, some good damage. Twenty-four. That's the lamb, probably. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, he's worried. Hopefully. I mean, the best thing to do would be go in lamb mode drop behind here and kill the Centurion, but... Mm, is he running, or is he... He's running. He is running. Kind of don't blame him, but... You're not helping your team out. They're pushing the base. They got the numbers on this side and they know it. This thing's not even moving now either. He's clearing the hill. Damn it. We're just outnumbered. Yes, Commander. As much as I want to go after that guy and shoot him in the back. Ah, uh, he's a real threat, though. Yeah, see, if even if I do this... That's a side shot. Even if I do this... There's a chance that that guy can... Like, one of those guys can shoot me in the back. If I go this way, they gotta crest the hill to get me. I think I'm okay here. Let's do that. Confirmed. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to vigilance this. To hopefully get ahead of this guy next turn. Now the question is... No oh boy. I'm gonna save the precision round, I think. Fire this way. Got the angle. Take it. Yeah, there's the kill. Enemy down. Okay. It was a bit it was a bit much, but I couldn't rely on one of my vehicles to do the job. So now the Centurion's free to work against that Grim Reaper. Time to get nasty on that some bitch. Yeah, so I changed this guy's voice. It's the only thing I changed about this pilot was the voice because this guy's voice has that it's time to get nasty on that some bitch. And of course his name is Nasty, so it you know it kind of works the best. Um that's a terrible position to be in. Wow. How does that drop? The 20... I'm going to go right there. It's not the best spot, but... We got armor. I'm hoping they decide to not shoot at the base. Garbage. That could be a kill in the Strider. 
Well, at least it's good damage. You inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Yeah, see? You inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Because his name's nasty, get it? Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh. Who says I don't have a sense of humor? Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. We gotta get that guy. Uh, fuck the camera up again. Because that's what I do. Play games and fuck the camera up. I'm here. Alright, let's get back away from those other guys. Now, the question is... Like, no chance to hit over there, so let's go here. I'm a pretty obvious target, just in case you're wondering. Fire on this guy. Alright, a couple shots landed. Not a lot. He's got pretty good armor, though, I think. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Maybe we can finish him off with the chariot. Uh, we got the Cloud Buster over here still. Uh, okay, he's moving to a position where I think we can get another side strike on him. I don't know what his armor is like. I could try and kill this Strider, though, with the Cloud Buster. Where are you off to? The opposite direction. While well, you run. Maybe he's jammed. Oh, I love how the, uh, when they fly over the water, there's, like, mist from the water that flies up. That's awesome. I never noticed that before. That's pretty awesome. If you've ever been in a helicopter, then you've flown over water. You know, that's kind of what happens. Man, I, wonder, I often wonder what my life would be like if I actually decided, well, if I actually did finish my, uh, my rotary wing Stand pilot by. course and became a helicopter pilot. Because my goal was to go into the military and fly helicopters in the military. But it never ended up coming about, unfortunately. The weird thing is, is it all came down to money. Uh, let's get to there. I, copy. I was going to go up to the Strider, but it's not really doing much, so... It's missing the, uh... That's not bad. We'll go up to the spider. It's missing its, uh, laser, so... These things are still jammed, eh? Engaging with target. I know it's harder to get them unjammed when you're sprinting. Oh, we got one of them unjammed, looks like. Receiving you. Alright, prime time. Let's not get close to them, but let's pull back here. Create a dense defensive perimeter. We're going to go after this guy right here. Maybe we can get a lucky shot and take that front off him. Roger. The hit. It's not where we wanted, although we got past the armor. So maybe he'll pull away. Oh, that was nice. Maybe he'll pull away. If not, the mortar can probably kill him next turn. So let's consider the defender done. The bulldog, though, is it right here. That could be a game changer. So we have to watch out for that. Now you... I'd like to go after that Grim Reaper, but I think we need to go after the, uh... This guy. Precision. 64. Can't get a good shot on him, though. I think I want to save the Precision for the Grim Reaper, though. So let's just move up to here. Keep our armor to the front. Centurion might end up being the, the clinch in this match. So we're going to go here. I'm going to switch this to AP. Yeah. We might land the shot. We might not. I don't know. We'll take the shot. With oh, man. We're almost out of ammo, too. Or Okay, that's the indirect. We could just do this. And 
kill this guy. Or not. <sighs> really? Really? Hopefully the fire kills him. It might. As soon as he moves, it might, he might blow up. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Taking all my armor. As soon as he crests the hill, it's going to be a bad time. I need you to uh, inflict some nasty on this son of a bitch. Oh well. I was hoping to get this guy in a stand-up fight, but it looks like it's going to be back shots. So we'll take those instead. Can we get a clean shot? Get a clean shot from there, so let's take it. Affirmative, Commander. We'll be in the trees, but whatever. At least if he turns to shoot at us, it'll be uh, easier for us to defend ourselves. LRM-20 ERPPC. I'm on him. Totally does look like a Shadowhawk variant, including the weaponry. Standing by. Even feels like a Shadowhawk variant, you know? Hmm. Go here. Order acknowledged. Got to keep pulling back. I don't know what this guy's going to do. But we're going to try and shoot this warrior down here. Oh, really? Didn't think it was going to be that bad. Well. Target locked. We're committed now. Ah, oh, well. I thought I was going to get at least 20%. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Thought I was going to get at least 20%. Oh well. No, he survived that uh, fire. And he missed me. Now somebody's got to shoot at him. Commander. Well, affirmative. See what we can do to this guy. Obvious target. Firing all the way. Ooh, took the arm. Oh, see ya. Hostile. Is that ammo explosion? Yeah. No. Yeah, it was. Ammo explosion looked like. How's that for a quick kill? Our biggest problem has been solved. <laughs> Except for this bulldog, I don't know. Could be a bad time. Our storm crow's getting hammered though. Reporting minimal damage. Yeah, but you're like you got like half your armor left. And it's not like I can even turn the back to the enemy to absorb some hits. Like it's you gotta open back. Good thing you don't got a lot of swarm ammo. Okay, we should still be able to kill the Strider. We're not getting everybody. It's round eight. What do we got left? Prime time. So I'm gonna kill the, um, the vehicle. At least I should be able to get the vehicle as long as they land a shot on him. Although I can't really fire the mortar, he's a little cl Oh, maybe I can. No, he's alright. Prime time should be able to drop the mortar around on him. Standing by. Gonna pull into here. Position confirmed. Get behind the Centurion, make sure he keeps moving forward. Engaging with should time. be able to do at least one damage to the front, right? Wow. Damage minimal. I'm showing minor damage. Really? <laughs> I guess he had two points left in the front. Never mind. Next turn. We'll get him next turn. Yeah, you run. This bulldog. I'm worried about this guy. Kalayama. Oh, and two machine guns. Okay, so it's not four AC2s. But those are cluster shots. 
which I'm not really sure. Like, I mean, the Cal Yamas are actually pretty good. I mean, the AC-10 Cal Yama is actually pretty nice. The 5 is okay. The 2s, though, the fragmenting, I don't know if it's worth it to put it on the 2s. Because the damage is so minimal at that point, right? But, I mean, you got good range and stuff, so... I don't know. If you're continuing to pepper them from long range. These guys are flanking. They are flanking me. At least our guy's in the fight now. What are your orders, Skipper? All right, buddy. Let's um get on these two whirlies. I'm rolling. Now that we're kind of free here, the Grim Reaper is not uh, threatening us anymore. So what do we got here? A little better on this guy. We'll take this shot. We're almost at our SRMs. Here we go. Okay, a few hits. Hopefully we can follow that up with some uh, hits from the Stormcrow. Our vehicle's not even moving back here. I wonder if he lost his uh, propulsion. I don't think so. He's tracked, right? So... I don't know. I'm receiving you. Oh boy. Keep my back away from these guys. Get back into the trees here. Jeez. Really, I. Eh? Well, it's the only direct shot I got, so let's take it. Roger that. Target confirmed. I was hoping we'd land at least one, luckily, but nope. And I was saving the precision round for that Grim Reaper so we can use it against this commando now. As nice as it would be to put it through the front of this vehicle, <laughs> I think we save it for the commando. Oh, nice shot. He's using that garbage, uh... Waiting for orders. He's using that garbage, um... large laser, too. Go Heading here. Out. Hopefully I'm turned enough away from the other guys. Okay. Um. Yep. And we'll switch this back to standard. Too bad I can't shift click because because they're all different uh, launchers. I can't shift click. Yeah, I'm liking the change to the SRMs for this guy. Roger. Definitely a better brawler build. Oh well, there goes our last round. Although we did kill their observation post back here. I saw the camera guy in the hill there. He's recording uh, recording the battle. Hopefully uh, being able to see what they can do to us next time, but... God, nice shots. And he's a little close, so I can't use the mortar. We have two max with open backs. Ow. Ow. I'm under heavy fire. I can see that. These guys are still a threat. If we had armor, it wouldn't be so bad. You coming back or what are you doing? No, he's... Which guy was that? Oh yeah, he's coming back from over there. That's what I thought it was. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, back. Okay. Yes, Commander. Moving away. This guy's been a thorn in my side for a while now. Let's finish him. Confirmed. Should do it. Nope. Apparently not. Good damage, though. What has he got, like one point left? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this guy saw that. He's like, nope, I'm out of here. Guy's a little too accurate for my liking. Ready. Ready.
42%. That's not bad. Make sure that mortar's turned off before we fire. Firing. Confirmed. Nope. Firing. Not today. Failed to connect. You did. Where's that bulldog? Okay, he's coming around this side, so I can back up over here and shoot down this way with the uh, Centurion next turn. Hopefully catch this guy in the crossfire and kill him. Uh-oh. Okay, he's going through the buildings. You're under heavy fire? I get it. Yeah, we're losing our sound now, too. Slowly losing the sound. The jungle, jungle maps only. I don't know why that is. Gets to a certain point and the sounds t get tankier. So this is the last turn. Ready for orders. All right, we got the last shot here. Back up to here. Locking in coordinates. Gonna shoot at this guy, and hopefully the splash carries over to the other guy. I'm gonna fire the thunderbolt too. Hopefully we get the splash on this guy. Firing all weapons. Nah, just too accurate. Too accurate. Target's taking a critical hit. I'm out of short range missiles. God, it's garbage. Nothing but garbage. Oh boy. Whatever I do, I'm going to be exposing myself to the enemy. Okay, I'm going to back up way over here. Because I am hoping to use the mortar this turn. Hopefully we're far enough away. I'm just going to throw this on because you never know. Oh well. Sure did that last turn with the Thunderbolts, but I just didn't realize what turn we were on. Alright, nasty. Um, can you kill this guy? We got four SRMs left a medium laser so hopefully we can get the kill jack up our kill count a little bit here Fire it. yeah there we go nice I need a new target you I do that's all right we got two guys left we got the chariot and the cloud buster depending on with how well the chariot does receiving you Go here. Roger. You guys are gonna hate me. I'm talking to the centurion and the other. Oh no. Ah, do I wanna? Oh boy. No, I leave the mortar off. Cause if I don't, you know damn well I'm gonna do some damage to my own guys. I was prepared for that, but with the back open, you never know, right? That's where all my SRMs are, my ammo. We'll take that hit, that's fine. Not that, not that I can't, like, not take the hit, but I mean... I accepted that. Now, can we get a copter? We might. If I get the Cloudbuster over here and shoot at this guy's side... Because I don't think... Where is he? That's the goblin. Pegasus, where's the Cloudbuster? Right here. Yeah, I don't think we can actually get to his other side. Oh, it's B.I. there. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do too bad. Only having two max means we get outflanked a fair bit. I'm gonna have to, like, mitigate. I'm gonna have to, like, keep them together, I think, from now on. We had to split them in this one, unfortunately, but... We just got the Cloudbuster left. They've still got their vehicle, too, and if he's smart and targets this guy... We'll get a kill here. Yeah, nice angle. I like that. I like it when the camera decides to place itself in really cool positions. 
I tried to set it so that, it, you know, it comes up a fair bit, but not too much that it uses a lot of CPU time. Oof, Jesus. That building's just hanging on. They got someone going on 12. Who's left? Is this guy over here? Where is he? No, he went on 13. He went on 16. Oh, this guy. Okay, he went on the Centurion, which means all of our buildings going to remain intact. Thirty-five. Forty-two. Alright, I think this is the last shot of the match, and that's it. Good thing, too, because our sound just died, pretty much. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake, really? Couldn't even land one, huh? There it is, folks. Alright, well, 339,000, that's not... Mm, too bad for a payout. That should cover, I think, most of our repairs. So two kills for the Centurion, which I thought... I mean, that AC-20 with precision ammo, like the light AC-20, is really... Like, it, it's OP, especially like in a medium, like, weighted lance. Two for the Cloud Buster. So not bad. And then, what do we got here? We got one Grim Reaper part. Mutant and Lamb, full one, eh? What do we got in storage here? I wonder, should we take a, no, I was just thinking, I was just going to say, maybe we should take a lamb for that uh, third lance, but then I'm like, yeah, we're, I'm planning on doing that lamb playthrough. I still plan on doing that. I'm just, it's time right now, so I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of recording and getting stuff posted, so I don't want to like half-ass do it. When I get a bit more time, I'll definitely be doing the lamb playthrough, because let's, let's face it, you know, those multiple times that I said, you know, uh, um, yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. This time, definitely the pilot. The pilot is definitely going to be the uh, main pilot is going to be Chinese, so I can actually say, yeah, in fact, I am a Chinese jet pilot. Okay, we got two medium X pulses. Tag hard point. I guess that's for the copter. But we didn't. Oh, that's for the lamb. Oh, right. They are a 24 sheath beacon. That's actually really nice. I'm going to drop that in for now. Artemis 4, we've got two, so we don't need it. XL Gyro would be nice. Gonna drop it there for now. It's not a lot here. Up and mount heat. Plus one accuracy with arm mounted weapons. Minus 3% heat generated by weapons fire. Oh, that's kind of cool. It kills your melee attack, but I'm gonna put that in. Like if we have like a yeah, because we have I think we have a large improved heavy laser. That would be nice. And then put that like the, the cooling brack bracket or whatever it's called for another five percent reduction, so eight percent less heat. And we could jack up the arm with, with uh, laser weapons. Three percent isn't much though. And it's all weapons, not just laser weapons too. Yeah, definitely gonna put that that's the first time I've ever seen that. That's kinda cool. Um Okay, SRM ammo. That might be good for the Centurion. Ooh, boy. Looks like it's components time. SLDF cockpit might be worth it. Piloting and tactics. Regular armor, MMO5, Telios, ER, PPC. We've got one. 55 ton Grim Reaper, eh? Hmm. Gunslinger, plus 0.3 cluster to ballistic weapons. P ballistic weapons. Well, that's interesting. Bonus to cold shot. Offensive push accuracy on gunslinger. That's kind of cool. I I'm going to drop that in. Because if we pick up, I mean, you never know. We might pick up another part. And nothing else down here is really tickling my fancy. I mean, there's like... The SLDF cockpit, yeah, there's a couple mechs that could probably use a better cockpit, so that could be worth it, but it's not, it doesn't beat out this, this mech part, I don't think, so we're going to grab these. Alright, so what do we get? The flea part, we got the lamb. That's, you know, it's screaming at me, you need to assemble me and use me. LRM5 Telios, plus one accuracy, 
The bonus to be shot down by AMS. Misfire chance, so let's just drop you. Small laser can probably just go. We got lots. Armor can just go. Case will keep. Cockpit basics. Standard. Boy, we're getting ripped off past couple episodes and stuff. Lamb turbine. Do I want to put together a lamb? Um, I don't know. Regular SRM ammo we can just get rid of. Let's just, let's just drop out of this and assemble it. 123,000. Yeah, the Stormcrow took a beating. It is Clan Tech too, so it's going to be very pricey. So, I mean, we we're, we're, what do we make? One and a half, one and a half mil? Just off the funds that we got from the, the uh, last few missions, which we weren't really going for. So that's actually quite good. Let's go to the mech bay real quick. Now, I know we got the Atlas, that last mission. We're not going to assemble that just yet. I want to get these guys up and running again. But if we're going to go to the storage here real quick, I want to check that, the lamb. I'm interested to see, because it's really, we got enough for a Merlin too. It's screaming, assemble me. That's why it gave it to me, right? Uh, there it is there. Let's go ahead and ready this. We're ready. I got a bunch of these guys I should just assemble too and sell. Um, okay, so bays. Let me know what you guys think. Should I run this ahead of the lamb playthrough or should I just wait? Because it doesn't look like much came through with this thing. Although his arms are intact. It's nice that we got all three pieces. Because at least more things are intact, you know? Find out here in a second. So we didn't get the lamb XL engine. The core is gone. Turbines there. Double heat sinks. Narc hard point net tag. Lamb stealth, lamb structure. So what? We just need a core. The lamb engine is already there. But we'd have to run. Like this is really a laser build. So we got a royal heat sink kit. I mean, we could run it. It's actually quite, it's actually not bad, you know. Well, that's a lot of weight though. Like it was what, 255 core? So what do we have that's close to that? Not really, got a 270. So it doesn't leave us much for weapons. Like if I pull... everything that's not required so the lamb turbines are for jump distance and everything right it's got like no armor I mean I don't know XL XL gyro is already built in or not built in but is here we do have lamb turbines where are they though Oh, we have a Lamb XL engine already. Well, you know, I'm not spending 2.24 2.24 million to get this thing rebuilt, but then it would, you know, then you add enough for weapons. You know what? No, I'm going to get rid of this. Like I said, this is really, we're going to do a Lamb playthrough. So let's keep it in the Lamb playthrough. And I'll find something else. I mean, we got. I mean, I'll, I'll take the stealth out of play. Maybe we bring the Merlin forward. I don't know. We'll, we'll do something, but yeah, we'll just get rid of the lamb stuff for now. We could use the sea bills. It's better to, to, you know, to build the atlas or something like that. We could bring a. Well, I mean, we could do the um, the Omni Assassin too, right? It's a forty tonner. It's about the right weight for what we want. We haven't tried it yet either. Stealth buybacks. Um, we got tons of hunchback parts. The bombard as well. We were planning on doing that at some point, but that's a 60 tonner. Oh no, a 50 tonner. Oh yeah, we could do that. Use it as an artillery mech for this. But right now, I mean, we, we need pilots. We don't have pilots, right? So we got to jump and hopefully we can get a half decent pilot at the next planet. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to jump between episodes, get everything repaired, hopefully find a three and a half skull planet so that our secondary lance can have some good fighting. Um, 
and then hopefully I'm going to try and find a planet where I feel we can find some quick sell stuff. It's really, really getting difficult to do that. I might, rather than jumping more towards the core, jump back towards the Marian hegemony, but stay in Lyrian space to keep the um, difficulty up facing the Lyrians. And then maybe bounce over to the Marian hegemony, see if we can get some more quick sell stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but I'm going to try and play around with it a bit. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. And check out the quick sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.